गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज मुक्ता गावड़े एंड माई ग्रुप मेंबर इज रिशिता गावंडे एंड आर टॉपिक फॉर मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑटोमेटिक रूम लाइट कंट्रोलर विथ विजिटर काउंटर इज आर दी कंटेंट्स ऑफ आर प्रेजेंटेशन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आर टॉपिक सेविंग एनर्जी is one of the major issues of these days not only these days but of all times turning lights and all other applications off when nobody is present in the room has always been a electricity saving measure but many a times we all do forget to turn off the lights and so to overcome this situation we came up with we came up with a solution that is controlling the light switching system automatically and in addition to that we will be counting the number of visitors entering and exiting the room uh, we have divided our project into two parts that are automatic room light controller uh, this part will turn the lights on when someone enters and when and will turn lights off when Uh, nobody will be present in the room and the second part that is bidirectional visitor counter that will count the number of visitors and will display that count on lcd screen okay so now these are some of the literature surveys we have done related to our project now moving on to the next part that is gap identification in schools colleges uh, students and other staffs often forgets to switch off the lights before leaving the room and thus more power is consumed and to avoid this our project is useful in auditoriums uh, we will get to know the number of people entering and attending the session as the lcd is used to display the count now Uh, why do we need the system firstly there is a need of saving energy and this system saves electric energy when it is not in use and will also contribute in reduction of electricity bills secondly human efforts for both switching on and off the lights and counting the number of people manually will be eliminated again in this covid situation covid situation touchless systems are the best option options to avoid contamination now let's move to the next slide that is problem statement and objectives uh, in our schools colleges public restrooms or seminar halls we can see that the light lights are kept on even when there is nobody in the room this happens due to the negligence or when we are in a hurry and now uh, objectives of our project are to save energy by automatically switching off the lights and then also to reduce the human efforts now moving on to next part uh, that is our proposed methodology this system is designed by using number of components such that each component performs its own function the components uh, have the input that are ir sensors um, and arduino uno and the outputs that are lcd and bulb lcd is used for monitoring purpose it will display the count and uh, next are the two ir sensors as input one of the sensor will be placed outside the room and other one will be placed inside the room uh, we have used ir sensors as infrared rays are invisible to human eye and have no effect uh, the number of people entering and exiting will be will be displayed on lcd mm, and our proposed system uh, will not only save energy but will also be used for security purposes now uh, this is the main block diagram uh, showing connections between input controller and the output uh, 
these are the two sensors uh, given as input uh, to the at mega controller the increment and decre decrementation part will be done by the controller and will be able to get the count on lcd display uh, relay will be used for a uh, switching purpose uh, now let's move on to our simulation part uh, these are the results we have got from our simulation uh, now let me show you uh, the simulation that we have done in proteus Uh, these are the two sensors we have used, IR2 and IR1. Uh, we will place IR2 sensor outside the room and IR1 sensor inside the room. And the count of the uh, people entering the room will be displayed on LCD. And uh, uh, when someone enters the room, the light, uh, we will be able to see that the bulb is glowing. So now let us start our simulation. Uh, now, as it is showing, nobody is in the room. Light is off. Light is off. Now, as the IR sensor will, de will detect the first person, it will show the count as one and the bulb is switched on. Now we will continue incrementing the number of people entering and it will keep incrementing the number and will display the count on LCD uh, and it will continue to glow the bulb. Now as uh, the IR sensor that is uh, uh, that is placed inside the room will detect the first person that uh, exited the room and will decre decrement the count and will show on the LCD. Now uh, uh, we have. Uh, now the count is zero, uh, so nobody is in the room and the light is switched off, the bulb is switched off. So this was our simulation part. Uh, here now I request uh, Rishita to, to take on the further presentation. Yes, thank you Mukta. Now we will see Hardware and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we need Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is a microcontroller in which Atmega 328 microprocessor is used and is used for controlling whole process. Also, we need two IR sensors, one for detecting entry of the people and other for exit and relay a 5 volt relay module is used in this project which helps arduino to probe operate high voltage ac loads like a light also we need 16 by 2 lcd to display the count of people and then bulb and power supply also in software we used protest for simulation and pcb designing arduino id for arduino code and continuing with another slide that is impact uh, we are going to focus on positive impact of our project on society human efforts to count people in auditorium or in cl classroom are eliminated as the increasing or decreasing count will be shown electricity bills are reduced as power consumption is reduced and in this COVID-19 pandemic, we prefer touchless systems. Also, the negative impact, there is a possibility of people forgetting to turn off the other electrical equipments such as fan, AC, as they know they don't have to switch off light. Now, let's move on to the professional ethical practices. 
there are professional ethical practices that engineers have to follow examine and set the obligations by engineers to their clients inquiring on existing situation what the problem people are facing what are the exist existing solutions so that we can examine and modify the solution form judgments and resolve the issues responsibility in responsibility there are two types of responsibility social responsibility and moral responsibility in social responsibility public safety and interest matters our system should not be harmful in moral responsibility looking ahead and caring about what happens to oneself and other moving on to the system implementation in this system both ir sensors must be placed on either side of the door the ir sensor 1 is outside the room and ir sensor 2 is inside when a person enters the room sensor 1 detects the person first and then sensor 2 this action will indicate the arduino that the person is entering hence it will turn on lights and also increment the visitor counter by 1 if there are more visitors the microcontroller will keep light turned on and increments the visitor counter accordingly when a person tries to leave the room a sensor 2 will detect the person first and then sensor 1 and it will decrement the count of visitors and when the count will be zero the light will be automatically turned off indicating no one is there in the room so this is how the system works moving on to the next that is result and discussion our project will successfully detect entry or exit of person when someone enters in the room the light will be turned on and it will increment or decrement the counter and display on lcd does it would show the total number of persons present in a room when nobody is present the light will be turned off then we will see conclusion and future scope to conclude i would like to say this project saves more electric power than it seems and also collaborates the knowledge of electric and digital study also we get to learn from this project that we can conserve electricity even in our mini project this system is an effective way for the power management automatic device control together count and power consumption in future scope we can add voice alarm system to indicate that room is full and people can't enter inside we can send this data to remote location using mobile or internet by using this circuit and proper power supply we can implement various applications such as fan tube lights etc by modifying this circuit and using two relays we can achieve a task of opening and closing the door now moving to the next that is references finally these are the websites and journal papers we referred for our project so this brings us to the end of our presentation thank you very much